Brought to you by ArtGrid. So today Apple introduced... <laughs> <laughs> so today Apple introduced the next major release of macOS, macOS 12 Monterey. This is a developer beta. So we're gonna do an installation sensation. I haven't tried any of this stuff before. We're gonna do it for the first time right now. And you're coming along. Hey guys, how are you all doing? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Crazy Ken, and we're gonna install this beta and try it out. So let's go ahead and hit upgrade now, and hopefully it doesn't explode on us. Uh, it could take a while. It is an 11.78 gigabyte download, and of course, as per installation sensation tradition, we also need to test drive the new features once it's installed on this brand new Apple Silicon iMac. And later, Braniac Brent and Maniac Mike are gonna crash the party and join me as well as we commentate on the system. So. We got about 17 minutes left, but through the magic of video, we can make that. All right, here we are in the mystical installation screen and Brainiac Brent and Maniac Mike have also crashed the party. Hi guys, how's it going? It's going. It's I'm bored already. Oh, well, we haven't even started. So let's go ahead and click the, uh, the nice uh, iMac exclusive colored button here for Mac OS 12. What's new in Mac OS 12, you say? Well, this year we put a 12 on the box. And this year we put a 12 on the box. So we're gonna agree to that. We read it, we're really good speed readers. 57 minutes remaining. We'll sit here and stare at it for we'll the next time. We'll, we'll spare you the details. Yeah, we'll sit here and stare at it for your enjoyment. <laughs> However, through the magic of video editing, we're gonna skip ahead right about. And look at that, 28 minutes remaining. The cool thing is it's only really been two minutes. The iMac is outpacing the estimated time remaining. By the way, here is the compatibility list for when Monterey comes out in the fall. Public beta will come out in July. Developer beta is out today. Full version for the public comes out in the fall. All right, we have about a minute remaining. And if you've seen my other installation sensations before, sometimes you know, especially with beta software, stuff can go wrong. So I have no idea how solid this beta really is, but we're gonna find out together. So it should reboot soon and go to the black screen. And as long as it doesn't start on fire, we'll be fine. And go. That would have been really cool if it worked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're restarting. So do we count down or do we press the button? We press the button because five, four, <laughs> three. This isn't iCarly, two. asshole. It, I normally, I don't remember it having the like restart triangle on there. Um, no, I like whoa. that. Oh, is the Apple bigger because I had the system resolution yes. set differently? <laughs> I like it. I didn't even notice it was large. That is <laughs> phrasing. <laughs> That's what happens. Tech Misadventures is more raw and unscripted. You never know what you're gonna get. This shouldn't take too crazy long and then we'll finally be able to test out the new features and see if there's any bugs and stuff. Okay, so the first reboot happened now. The Apple is much smaller because the resolution adapted to the normal Retina 4.5K and it's just gonna keep installing and hopefully we get an estimated time real soon. Uh, oh, it looks like it actually might be done. We, nope. got, a, we got a mouse cursor already though. And the bar jumped back. I can't move the mouse, but uh, we have it. It's there. That's my favorite feature of Mac OS booting up when you get a cursor on the start. Is it restarting once more? I have no idea what it's doing. It's just, <laughs> it's just like having fun. Well, while we wait for it to finish, I might as well thank our awesome friends at Arc. Oh gosh, it got yes. giant. <laughs> it is starting up now for sure. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now we have a time remaining thing. But yeah, I actually use Artlist Music in a ton of my episodes and I use ArtGrid stock footage as well. They are really freaking awesome. So stock footage licensing can be really expensive and complicated, but the cool thing is ArtGrid makes it easy because it's a single annual subscription that gives you access to tons of clips and you could download anything you want throughout the year with no limits. And the cool thing is you can keep the license forever, even after your subscription expires. And also there's a stock music subscription too. So you can have music and footage. And I use both of these in my YouTube shows all the time. So I highly recommend them. And if you sign up through my link, you'll get two extra months free added to your subscription. Not only will you be getting those extra months free, but you'll also be supporting the Computer Klein YouTube channel. So everyone wins. All right, back to the installation sensation. Oh, here we go. We got a mouse cursor, bam, and Log in. So analytics, yes, we gotta send them because this is a developer beta, it's kind of the point. All right, we are on macOS 12 beta 12.0 and because we are on a new system, we have to use the new wallpaper. Oh gosh, that is amazing. Look at that. 
It is pretty. It's literally called Mac OS Graphic. That's the name of the wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> Feedback assistant, yes, I'll be reporting that stuff as we go along if we see anything glitchy, itchy. Uh, so, oh, passwords. There's a new passwords panel, kind of like on iOS now. That's cool. So oh, wait, actually, new Siri go, icon. go into desktop and screensaver. Okay. What does its dark mode one look like? Okay, and then dark. That is sexy as hell. <laughs> that is really cool looking. The note feature. Let's see. So you can do quick notes. I don't know how. You don't, you don't even need notes open. I was going to say, you don't need notes open. Okay, so let me see. Hmm, tell me. Uh, you figure it out for yourself. Asshole! Do you remember how to do it on iOS? You drag from the corner, right? Well, first of all, I think you have to actually, like, you know, you know, open up notes and say, oh, yeah, these are these new features. Okay, yeah, yeah, continue. continue. Turn on iCloud. Uh, no. I mean, yeah, we don't need that right now. We don't really need that. Oh, sh There you go. Now it showed up. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, so let me try that again. You put it... What? Put it down there, and then you click. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a hot corner. So I yeah. hope you didn't have a hot corner there. No, I didn't have a... Well, I did on my old system, but... Okay, that's really cool. So you can do a quick note right from there. Let's see if you can actually reassign that with hot corners. Yeah, you can change... Uh, oh, that's so cool. So you, you can put the quick note in any of the four corners you want. So before, I think the big test is going to be universal control to see how things drag across multiple devices with one mouse, right? Yeah. But before we do that, let's test some of the smaller things first, like maybe Maps. Maps got an update, so... So we got new Maps app, new features from iOS, cycling navigation, curated guides, and we have a like a, an actual like Google Earth kind of viewer now. So that that's new, new to anyone who's never used Google Earth before. <laughs> and uh, let's see, let's go. Actually, you know, let's go to Apple Park because I heard from Luke Miani they have a. I heard they have like a nice three D view with even the the arch. Ooh, Ooh. yeah. Ooh, I love that. <laughs> so I know you can do the like satellite view still with like the three D photogrammetry. But I kind of like this, like, semi-cartoony, like, 3D kind of look now. Now, what's nice is that what they showed off, too, was, like, with, uh, that you can actually see the road markings, too, when you zoom in really close to them. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah! So you can Particularly see... go to, like, an intersection of a road, you'll even see the crosswalks. So oh, there you go. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. We've got the, all the, the, the cycling. bike routes. Oh, orthodontist. Perfect. Hang on, let me book, <laughs> let me uh, book this appointment quick. Because I was talking about the awesome art grid guys that I like to use. Uh, let's see how their website looks in the new version of Safari. It should, like, color match. Yes. Ooh, Ooh oh, so it's blue. It picked a... Interesting. I wonder where it got the blue from. It probably, probably like... Probably one of the first photos it sees on the site, I'm guessing, which yeah. is that blue one. Yeah, that's... It, that doesn't work so well there. Let's see how it works on the computerclan.com. Nice. It just blends in with the background there. Look at that. I've also got a dark web page, but it's slightly grayer. Do you want to try my website? Yeah, what is it? Penrosefilms.com. And it adapts to the Yeah, it adapts. Gray. Yeah, there you go. So it just adapts. The tabs are now part of this interface up here. We can make tab groups. Tab groups is in your sidebar, I believe. Oh, oh. And you could do new, new empty tab group, new tab group with four tabs. And then you can get the groups right from the sidebar there. I see. Let's say we have multiple tabs here, like Mac Rumors. Oh, it looks weird in light mode. I'm not used to that. It looks like you can drag the window around by dragging on the tab still. I was concerned initially that you wouldn't have much space to drag the window, but you can drag on the tab. Now, the question is, how do you rearrange the tab? Do you click and hold? I believe so. Hey, look at that. Okay, so th this is a, a little different. I mean, I'm not totally against it. I um needs a little bit of getting used to. How does it look with, like, a billion tabs? Yeah, it eventually starts cutting off the labels. Yeah. It is kind of neat, though, how the tab just kind of, like, shrinks and expands. That was interesting to me when I was seeing that during the keynote. Yeah. I wonder if you can, like, right-click and, ah, customize. You can still... So you can still yeah. add in everything. You can still put in your preferences, your print. So Maniac Mike set up a user account on here for his Apple ID so he can test some of the other features. So how do you how do you do the AirPlay mirroring? Can you, like, do that? Yeah, from so I can... So a new feature with Monterey is that... I can AirPlay my iPhone, my iPad, or even my Mac. I can use the iMac as if it were an Apple TV. Yeah, go ahead so and try So, of course, it. you have to be signed in with the same Apple ID as we For security. found out. All I got to do is I just got to open up the control center, go to mirroring. Ken's iMac, I believe, is the one. Oh, that's and cool. And just like that. 
So I can mirror what is exactly on the screen here, or I can use as a separate display and extend oh, my displays. Pull, pull up a win. Oh, that's like a perfect 60 FPS, man. It's like, it's really smooth. So just like that. Oh, wow. That's pretty sweet, man. So yeah, you basically turn it into an AirPlay receiver. I remember a long time ago, I did a tutorial about AirServer on how to turn your Mac into an AirPlay receiver. That got so many views, but now you don't need a third-party program. It's built in. Yeah, my do your, iPad do here. your iPad here. Three, two, one. There it oh! Is. Of course, I'm running iPad OS 15 on here as well. That is pretty cool. That is smooth. That is like a perfect 60 hertz. I know you have like 120 hertz display, but over this, it's only hmm. gonna be 60. Now, supposedly, there's this other feature. I think you know what I'm talking about. Universal control? Universal control. Let's try it out. So, Maniac Mike has his iPad here running iPad OS 15 and his M1 MacBook Air running Monterey. And we wanted to show the feature where you can move your cursor to the other devices, but unfortunately, we can't seem to get it to work. I'm not sure if it's a bug or if they just haven't implemented that yet, but. Yeah, I, I took a look at the release notes in Feedback Assistant and I saw like absolutely zero reference. N nothing other. mentioning universal control. We do, we do have, uh, we're on the same network. We have Wi-Fi enabled. It's all in the same Apple ID. And Bluetooth, yeah. We did and everything. There is one more cool new feature, shortcuts, which we've had on the iPad and iPhone for a while, but now it's on the Mac. So you guys want to take a look at that? Yeah. Yes. Let's fiddle. So you can make quick actions, which are things that I guess that show up like in contextual menus when you like right click on stuff. And you can also do menu bar. So things that can show up in the menu bar, I guess. <laughs> Let's see, gallery. Okay, there's a lot of templates you can choose from. Music quiz is fun if we had music on here. Oh, well, let's see what that does here. So 46 actions, so, oh my gosh. Yeah, isn't it crazy? Oh. It's got like functions and variables and <laughs> things that developers know, but like, Imagine oh. having to make this. Oh, goodness. Oh, it crashed, no! <laughs> oh. oh, it was too advanced. It was too much. It was too much. All right, let's just cr try creating one from scratch. So let's see. We have apps and categories. So let's say, let's do get tally. I don't even know what that means. Open app. Okay, open app. So we'll drag that in and we'll say activity monitor. And actually we can maybe go a step further. Let's see if there's a shell script. Run shell script and dang it. Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa, my light. Whoa. You hit the light. <laughs> 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 I hit my pocket and I triggered light. I uh, have that power. Okay. Apparently Ken is God now. No! Uh, let's try that again. Let's see if it auto-saved. Oh! It pretty much did, so we just gotta get the shell script back in there. So, so I guess that doesn't work. It does not. Now here's the good thing. You wanna... At least Automator still exists. That's true, Automator is still a thing, but we're gonna... I. I know Insanity is doing the, multi like, the same thing multiple times, expecting a different outcome, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's just try it more slowly. Okay. And... Yeah. As soon as you click. Oh, dang it! That okay. was gonna be my next suggestion, was to see what happens if you drag it, but... Well, let's run this. There we go. It's opening. It's interesting how it has to wait for the yeah, app to launch was, before it can move on. I was wondering that. It's going like one at a time. I wonder if there's like a way to speed that up, but that is interesting. That's that's cool. We kind of got it to work. Let's see what else they got in here. Let's um let's try running this. See what happens without my music. Welcome a series shortcuts game. Listen to the music, then pick a song. There are five rounds. Okay, it's opening up music. Oh, I'm already logged in. Okay. It hasn't actually begun to play. Oh, the script stopped. It, it says running in the menu bar here. Oh no. Okay. Um, but I'm not sure if it is like. You know, supposed to actually do something so now. So open it, open up. It, it is because when I run that on my phone, it will play music. Huh? What were you saying, Mike? Uh, go back into shortcuts. Shortcuts. And uh, right click. Right click. Ooh, and a color. Oh. Wait, <laughs> that was dot. You guessed blank by dot. So far, you're zero for one. It's cool that we can do add to dock right from here. So now our shortcut is just right here with the color and icon I made. That's pretty sweet. And it just saves it in your user applications folder. 
Huh. That's kind of cool. So that's where they save it, too. And we can also export, it looks like. You can probably just export an app file for anyone, people who know me. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, there's clearly some bugs here, but uh, we'll, we'll work all those out. But that's why we have the feedback assistant. So that's macOS Monterey Developer Beta 1. There's still some things that probably need to be worked out and I'll be keeping track of the progress as it goes. And I do want to thank my disembodied voices, Brainiac, Brent, and Maniac Mike for helping. Thank you guys very much. Nice to actually be a part of something again. Yes, of course. It has been a while. And I'm sorry the universal control thing wouldn't work. I guess that's just not a feature yet. Ken's curse. Make sure nothing works around here. I didn't break it. It, it, it. Hey, if any of you guys get universal control to work, not you, but you, tell me. Because we couldn't. I mean, we tried a bunch Thanks of things. Thanks for the call out, Ken. Hey, I'll take that very personal. I was giving you guys credit for trying. <laughs> you get a, you get a sticker. There's a sticker around your... There's a computer client that sticker's like hiding back I'll there. I'll take the badge behind you later. Oh, the... Apple Camp. Apple Camp badge? Yeah, these these were these were real. You go to Apple Camp and you learn iMoving GarageBand. Here, stab this in your thigh. Wow, that got Where some air time. Did that, go? that went away, like, <laughs> way back there. That went way over my head, quite please, literally. Please find that. That's a childhood treasure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, let us know what you think about macOS Monterey, and if there's any other big developer beta updates with this, I'll let you know soon. There's other great tech things we do on this YouTube channel, including rare tech and some prototype stuff, and other retro tech, and, of course, our new fan favorite thing, scam busting, tech scam busting. I got a lot of good stuff with that coming up too. So until then, catch the crazy and pass it on.